authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Good morning, everyone. A live look here for you outside of Midland. Great view here outside of the tall city early this morning. Not really a whole lot going on. Just very quiet weather will continue for most of West Texas as we head into the rest of the morning and also into the uh, afternoon as well. Current readings outside right now here in Midland at 80 degrees exactly. Clear skies. Big Spring sitting at a temperature of 79 with clear skies also in place. Most of the uh, Permian Basin is also looking this way as well. The Trans Pecos and the mountains are also uh, looking quite nice here early this morning. Temperatures right now into the upper 70s, very close to 8 degrees in both locations there. Clear skies right now across much of the Permian Basin. As you can see, most of the moisture, though, is well off to our west, so that is not bothering us as of right now. And we are going to continue to see this later on this afternoon with just a couple of passing clouds out there. You can see that some of the models indicate that we could be looking at a few thunderstorms developing by the time we get to this afternoon. Looks like those storms will try and push their way towards the east in the general direction of the Permian Basin just after sunset. Uh, tonight, but I don't think it's going to quite make it into our into the Permian Basin, though, because we should continue to see just uh, clear skies in place. But for today, lots of sunshine out there. Temperatures uh, will continue to be around 79 degrees by the time we get to 8, and that should be near our morning low. 91 degrees by noon, 102 for the afternoon high by the time we get to 4. And by 8 o'clock this evening, still very warm out there. Temperatures around the mid-90s with that south wind 10 to 25 miles per hour. There is still relief on the way from the heat that we've been seeing out there lately. Even though there's new heat advisories in place, we just saw the temperatures today still in the triple digits, all thanks to this very strong upper-level high-pressure system that has been causing a lot of the heat lately for West Texas. Now, the good thing is that system is still expected to continue to move off towards the north and east and be in the general vicinity here of the uh, southern United States and also approaching the mid mid Midwest United States by the time we get to around this weekend. And then as we head into next week, the system will also be fading away while continuing to move toward the east. So we should be in much better shape here across West Texas to finally see our temperatures cool down uh, as we head into next week. So heading into this afternoon, the rest of us today will be dealing with temperatures around the uh, triple digits for the Permian Basin, but the 90s here still are likely for the Trans-Pecos in the mountains. Still a little bit warm though, though, into the upper 90s, and you can see the same can be said for the weekend. Upper 90s are still expected for both Saturday and as we head into your Sunday, but temperatures beginning by next week, though, are beginning to cool down. As you can see, we are actually going to be near normal for this time of the year, which is going to be into the mid-90s. Same could even be said here for Tuesday, if not just a little cooler. So here's a look at tonight. We should be dropping down to the 70s once again. Clear skies and that south wind dying down just a bit around 5 to 10 miles per hour for you. And here's a look now at your 10-day forecast. We're going to continue to see these temperatures through the weekend. Next week, as we mentioned, they begin to cool down here just a tad. Still lots of sunshine, and the breezes might pick up just a bit as well around the uh, 10 to 25 mile per hour range. And uh, that could aid in some fire weather concerns as well, since we're still pretty warm out there, and we are still under a pretty significant drought for most of West Texas. Now remember, you can also download the Your Basin Weather app to stay up to date with weather anytime. It's on the Google Play or the Apple App Store. And also be sure to check out our website at yourbasin.com for more.